Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig with another fresh new episode of MacMost Now. Ever wonder how to get accent marks and special characters into your text documents? Well, it's easy to see what special characters are hidden in your keyboard when you learn how to use the Keyboard Viewer. Let's take a look. So to enable the Keyboard Viewer, what you want to do is not go to the Keyboard Mouse Preference, but instead go to the International Preferences. Go to Input Menu and there you'll see a couple of different options you want to check off. One is Keyboard Viewer. You want to check that off. And the other is Character Palette. Check both those off. These are both different keyboards that allow you to type special characters. They appear on your screen. You want to set Show Input Menu in Menu Bar as well. Okay, once you have that set, you'll get a little flag up in the menu. I've got an American flag since my language on the Mac is chosen as US English. Click on that and you'll get the two keyboards that we selected. So let's first look at the Keyboard Viewer. This will go ahead and bring up this little palette here that allows you to actually type but also will mimic what you do in your keyboard. For instance, here I am holding the Shift key down. Now, when you hold the Shift key down, you'll see everything change to capital letters. And also you get the symbols above the numbers. Hold the Option key down and you see all the cool symbols here. Likewise for Command and Control if there's anything there. Even combinations of characters. So this is a simple way to see the hidden characters in your keyboard. You can also go ahead and change the font mapping and choose one of the special symbol fonts like Wingdings or Webdings. So for instance change it to that and you can see all the different characters here. What happens when you hold the Shift key down, the Option key down, etc. Okay, Likewise if we go ahead and choose Show Character Palette we kind of get the opposite view. We get things arranged by character types. So for instance we can look under Symbols, look at Arrows and choose a, a different type of arrow here. It will give you some information. Uh, we can go ahead and look at currency symbols for instance and if you wanted to type a pound symbol not only can you select it out from there but you can go ahead and get confirmation that it is indeed the pound sign. Get some information about it. And if you're going to use something pretty often you could go down here to this menu and add to favorites and that will appear in your favorites list. And then if you select a character and want to insert it into a document all you have to do is press the insert button. So if you find yourself using special characters a lot in your documents, you'll probably want to enable these international keyboard palettes and use them all the time. Hope you find this useful. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.